Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. Don't lose faith in what you are trying to do, even though you will get pummeled emotionally left and right. There are a lot of no's to any yes. And that's okay. I'm still the person who naively thinks if I can imagine it, I can have it. When you are free from self-doubt, you fail better. You accept criticism and listen. If you want to do a film where you have a big scope, you've got to make your characters relatable and genuine. I think if you create well-balanced characters that are well represented, boys and girls relate to them whether they're boys or girls. If you don't want the nickname, don't live up to it. Loneliness is something we, all people, go through. We go through mourning and longing. We make some bad choices sometimes because we're desperate for something, and that's okay. That's part of life. With a film, things constantly have to go up in the story, and you're constantly putting pressure on the main character. It allows to go really deep into what its relationship is. People are funny. They often don't mean to be, and that's what makes it even more endearing. The philosophy I always have is what's the sentence that would tell me about each shot? If I can't read why the shot's there, what is the story trying to say? I like to say, chop suey's the biggest culinary joke that one culture has ever played on another, because chop suey, if you translate into Chinese, means zop suey, which, if you translate back, means odds and ends. We might be shifting away from a Eurocentric view of the United States into something that's much more multicultural, multinational, and Chinese food is just one slice of that. In deference to American traditions, my family put our oven to rare use at Thanksgiving during my childhood, with odd roast turkey experiments involving sticky rice stuffing or newfangled basting techniques that we read about in magazines.